What's going on, people, and happy Halloween! Today, we are going to be talking about Evil Dead in 4K Ultra HD. Got that coming up for you next. So, people, I held off talking about Evil Dead until Halloween Day just because I wanted a Halloween video to put out for you guys for this year. And uh, here we are. Are. So getting into Evil Dead, this movie was directed by Sam Raimi. He is one of my favorite directors. I just love his style and his energy. And this is his first film. And you definitely see the style and the energy here. This camera is almost never ever still. It is constantly moving and it was made for such little budget that he just... Uh, posted the camera on anything that he could possibly find and uh, really gave the uh, cinematography here a, a life. One thing that I noticed watching this uh, this time around because I hadn't watched it in so long was uh, that even though this concept is absurd and the things that are happening here are clearly, clearly just out in left field somewhere, <laughs> um, it really isn't um, meant for yucks. You know, it doesn't have that Looney Tunes quality that a lot of Sam Raimi films do have. Especially, especially Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Those are both uh, more comedic films than actually frightening. And um, this one, though, I, it wants you to take it more seriously. And I just really... Um, it struck me this time around. And, of course, how could I not talk about the face Bruce Campbell? This guy, man, I, I really do love Bruce Campbell and almost everything he does. I'll see anything he does, and I love him here, and I love that this is where he got his start from. Uh, I, I really do love this movie. I don't feel like it's a classic, but it is the next best thing. I'll give it a 9 out of 10. And getting into the video quality here. Uh, they have rolled out all the stops. They have given this a 4K digital intermediate and given it Dolby Vision. And so I was curious to see what that would do for such a low budget movie that came out in the 80s and um you know this is still a grainier movie this movie has a lot of grain on it and at times it can be overwhelming how much grain is on screen but that is the style of this movie and um this is the cleanest that you are ever going to see it i'm just gonna say right off the top grain haters um you're not going to get exactly what you want. And I don't know if I particularly would want to take away the grain here just from because of the fact that I feel like it is uh, characteristic of this movie, you know? It would take away some of its charm. But with that being said, the detail here is the best that it's ever been. Um, while still being subtle, you do get uh, deeper detail into uh, close-ups and facial features while uh, establishing shots are still... that They have a lot of the most grain to them and they are the softest with the softest edges. And getting into HDR here, um, what could that possibly do with Dolby Vision for a movie like this? Um, well, basically what that means is it just, uh, it gives it some pop where, uh, Bruce Campbell's blue shirt really, um, sticks out from the, uh, background and pops more into your foreground, giving this a little bit more of a dimension here. And it, it just really pops on the screen and Dolby Vision gives it that extra boost that you might be looking for. And I would say that um, a lot of the characters' clothing just, they, they pop more in uh, this particular uh, transfer. And that is because of the HDR with the Dolby Vision. And really, that is the, the spot where it shines. So with that being said, 
I don't feel like this is like the greatest transfer in the world, but it's not the worst. And uh, that is why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. This isn't that bad. And um, I feel like we're lucky that it looks this good, to be quite honest with you, because it could have went the other way. It really could have. And getting into the audio, um, let's be honest, we didn't expect a Dolby Atmos mix here. I wish we would have gotten one, but uh, we are stuck with the Dolby True HD 5.1 mix that is on the previous uh, Blu-ray edition. And it, it's fine. Uh, I will say that speaker separation is limited. You know, this is an older film, and I feel like it is limited to how the audio was recorded back then. I don't feel like anybody has really taken the time to really remaster this. So uh, we're left with pretty limited uh, speaker separation. And on top of that, um, the vocals here in the center channel can get kind of muffled at times. Again, that is just a product of how this was recorded. Uh, Surrounds are light, but they um, they are present at times as, when they are needed. And I will say that the um, bass response is pretty good on this one. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 as well. This isn't the greatest, but it's not the worst. It is just, you know, right there and right with a lines of uh, where I would expect it to be. So with the digital copy, we get a uh, Lionsgate digital copy, which means that you have to go on their website, redeem the code, and then you can download this on iTunes. Only the uh, standard high definition version, not the 4K. Where the most changes here is in the special features then, because uh, that previous Blu-ray gave us a lot of special features it, on a separate Blu-ray disc. That separate Blu-ray disc is not in this set. And uh, what that means is the only thing that is carried over here and is not even carried over on the to the, uh, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, it's just on the regular Blu-ray, is the audio commentary track with Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and the producer. I feel like it is a great track that I've actually listened to before I started this channel, but it is just lacking because it is the only thing there. <laughs> I would give this an even lower score than a three, but I'm going to give it a three just because of the fact that, um, yeah, that's a pretty good audio track. And as for my last looks at uh, Evil Dead goes, look... This is a movie that is a whole lot of fun and it is interesting to watch just because of the differences between just the filmmaking and the style of this movie and the intent of this movie compared to Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Where Sam Raimi will go is a lot more comical and a lot more of a uh, Looney Tunes approach, if you might say, to... Uh, to filmmaking and you know what I, I don't mind that I actually do like his playfulness in his later films but here even though you can get a sense of the playfulness the intent of it is is still kind of to scare you and um, not just a, a, a joke or a lark and getting into my final score for Evil Dead on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, that comes out to a 26 out of 40. That is largely because of the fact that the special features here are really lacking and they actually took some out that used to be in the Blu-ray, an entire disc actually. But the video quality here is the best that this movie has ever looked and any Evil Dead fan will really be able to see that. And coming up next on the channel, I do finally have to get into uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp that just came out. And after that, I have to get jacked back into the Matrix that is all coming up for you guys soon. So I thank all of you for watching. And I don't need to tell you you're awesome. You know you're awesome. Have a great Halloween and I will see all of you next time.